You are listening to the new Mutual Audio Network. Welcome home. The following audio drama is rated restricted for anyone listening under the age of 17. Frequent or prolonged examples of adult situations, violence, or coarse language may apply. The darkness always fell upon the hills of my childhood home like a shroud over a corpse. The fields white with nebulous queer mists that the night conjured. The tombs of my ancestors and the family estate sticking up into the sky as the light waned in the distance and always in the copse beyond. The voices calling, ever calling. For me, for some last dream they had forgotten. I now shall never know. Such are the memories of my childhood, those days in my ancestral estate, for I was an inheritor, bequeathed with the burden of a shuddering legacy, of past sins and secrets. Mine was the Wingate inheritance. I jot these words down as a warning to those who would tread in my path behind me. I was an isolated child, and when I was young I devoted myself entirely to pastimes and obsessions that were less than wholesome. I possessed, even at that young age, a seemingly limitless capacity for the pursuit of dark and arcane subjects, things that were simply hinted at in books in the library and in the remains of my late Uncle Erasmus's half-destroyed notebooks, a last desperate act on his part. He tried to burn them all before he befell his fate. With Uncle Erasmus gone, my only other living relative was his wife, my Aunt Miriam, she had grown crazed in her later years and sat alone in the house, gibbering pointlessly about things half seen in the shadows, no doubt the result of Erasmus's experiments. The rest of my family, you ask, gone, died in houses for the insane, violently ripped from this world in mysterious fashion, or simply faded. Faded away like the mists in the morning. I never heard from them ever again. I don't know their fate. But now I know mine. With my uncle dead, the key to his laboratory, and more importantly, his library, fell to me. Beyond the door of that library, I found a veritable treasure trove of black, tarry, mysterious, eldritch knowledge. The Book of Unspeakable Cults, the Nicotic Manuscripts, among others. But most importantly, a half-translated copy of the Al-Azif, the Necronomicon, from the mad Arab Abdul al hazred I began to translate the second half, and it was then, then in those dark hours of the night, I remember it so clearly, it happened. I hit puberty. I discovered girls were really, really neat. I learned to play the guitar and dropped all that arcane knowledge crap like a big bundle of hot rocks. Went out and formed myself a band, got laid, went off to college, partied a lot, now I have a high-paying job. So if you're obsessed with occult eldritch knowledge or the elder gods, Knock it off. Everybody who plays around with that shit only goes crazy or winds up dead. Or both. I suggest you go out and get a life. That's what I did, and I'm a better person for it. I mean, we're all worm food eventually anyway. You might as well do something pleasant in the meantime instead of all this Elder God crap. Jeez. Thank you for your testimony, Brother Rasmussen. My name's not Rasmussen. And for the rest of you, my name is Reverend Sinclair Lillywhite of the Church of the Lady of Exceptional Mastication. We're a non-profit, non-denominational, non-sectarian, heck, non-religious organization who would just like geeky people to get the friggin' heck out of the house and get a life. So if you're unhealthily obsessed with the occult, anime, religion, comic books, the internet, video games, music, whatever. Write your name and address down on a piece of paper and put it inside an envelope and address it to Get a Friggin' Life, P.O. Box 952-1300, Wayward Street, Blockhead, Maryland. Now, get dressed and go to the front door. That's send, uh... The front door is the big kind of rectangular piece of wood at the front of the house with a knob on it. Yeah, that's the one with a hole around it. Okay, I want you to turn that handle and open that door. It's either in or out. Just give it a quick turn. There you go. All right, now, watch your watch your eyes on the light there. Now, step outside to mail the letter. Okay, you out? You outside the house? Yes, I know. It's been a while. Are you outside now? There, that was worth it, wasn't it? Not so bad, is it? There, see? So you might want to get some sunscreen. Go to the store now, really before you're tempted to go back to the computer womb, you know, and do something like become a podcaster. Just go. Go. Run. Run. Run while you still can. Run. Run. (laughs) My God. It's too late. So
belongs to me. Oh, no, it doesn't. Wait. No. That's a different show. Okay. This is Technical Difficulties, and I am your host, Kaya and Chris Conroy. This is our program for August 11th. That's right. Yes, 11th. Oh, God. Oh, hell. It's the second Friday of August already. Oh. Eighth month, 2006. Oh. Hi. But it's... But I... I'm... But the years... Good Lord. Do you know I've been doing this show for a year and a half now? Really? I mean, I have. I've been doing this show for a year and a half. Those of you who've been listening from the beginning, Al says, you know, and and some of the guys, uh, James over in Australia and such. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. Year and a half. I figured out somewhere around close to 30 hours of just... That's that's minus these introductions that I'm wasting your time with right now. That's that's 30 hours of material. 30, almost, almost 30 hours of raw material. <laughs> Wow, even I'm impressed, and, you know, I've got an inferiority complex. Let's get on with the show, shall we? This week's Technical Difficulties Community Calendar is brought to you by Sharp's Copier Paper. Made from the highest quality wood pulp, each page of Sharp's paper is white, crisp, clean, and honed to a scalpel-like edge. Guaranteed to give you a savage paper cut with even the merest touch. And remember, Sharp's paper is completely bleed-proof for fairly obvious reasons. So remember, that's Sharp's paper. You'll know it's quality when you go, (laughs) Ah, fuck! Mr. Lambert of PS12's Kindergarten Kazoo Club would like to invite the parents of his musical tykes to the auditorium to hear the All In Kazoo Club concert. This week's show will be a tribute to the orchestral works of Frank Zappa and will include Pedro's Dowry and Moe and Herb's Vacation Parts 1 through 3. And our local safety group Mothers of Consequence would like to remind all of you that drinking and driving don't mix. They also say stand up straight, don't talk with your mouth full, you're not going out dressed like that, are you? And just wait till your father gets home. And on a related note, the auxiliary group Children of Consequence would like to remind Mothers of Consequence that they're not the boss of them. And finally, the amateur carp sexing enthusiast softball team will take on the Reformed Church of Satan this Friday night at Unified Theory Field, where both teams promise the sparks will fly. So please don't bring anything particularly flammable. And now, kids, it's your favorite. It's time for Angsty, the emo clown. And here's Angsty. Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's uh, me, Angsty. So I was going to come out today and I was going to uh, make some balloon animals for you. But um, they reminded me of my dog that my mom gave away when I was a kid. And it got me really depressed. So so I wrote a poem about it that I'd like to read for you all. It's called What You Took From Me. And after I read the poem, I'm, I'm just going to play a couple of Morrissey tunes. I hope you don't mind. You call that quality children's entertainment, you people should be ashamed of yourselves. Well, sir, no excuses. Six months ago, I tasked you all with the project of coming up with quality children's entertainment programming for this network. Something we could be proud of. Something we could leave as a legacy. Something that would inform and educate and delight our children. And this is what you came up with. What? happened in the last six months? Well, sir, uh, three weeks after you gave us that directive, uh, you suddenly retired with a monolithically huge severance package. Mm. Did I? What the hell am I doing here, then? I'm off to Acapulco to get laid. <laughs> well, so much for that. And look, here comes our new CEO now. Ladies, gentlemen, good to see you. No, no, no need to stand. We have no choice, sir. There's no chairs. Well, carry on, then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our programming here at this network is failing. Failing miserably. So we're going to have to change tactics. I want to start by putting all our cards on the table. We can't, sir. There's no table, either. This is the conference room, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, Yes, that's that's right. Conference room with no furniture. That will never do. Fortunately, I brought some supplies with me. Everybody pitch in. All right. All right. One construction project later. That's much better. Now that everybody's seated, we need to change up. Programming. Well, what did you have in mind, uh, sir? Well, I wanted something something aimed for the family. Oh, family. Yes, the family. family. Yes. Uh, but, but, but family. Also a little bit edgy. Edgy, edgy. edgy. yes. Edgy. But clean. Right. But clean. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. Family. Clean. Family. family and edgy, edgy and clean. Family. But, but a little bit of grit. Rich. A little bit of grit Rich. and grime. Rich. So gritty Rich. and grimy Rich. and clean. Rich. Yes, something Rich. family. Rich. Gritty, grimy, and cleany, edgy, grimy, clean, slimy, grimy, grimy, clean, grimy, clammy, grimy, 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 grimy. Well, do we have anything like that? Well... We do have a pilot right here, sir, for a comedy about a family that runs a vacation Bible school that's being stalked by a mass serial killer. That will do nicely. Well, it's late. Everyone off to bed, and I'll be in to tuck you in in just a moment. Yes, yes sir. All right, let's, let's go. go. I get the no upper bunk. This is supposed to be I'm my turn. Really As for the rest of you, you're far too old to be going to bed this early. If I were you, I'd head down to the bar, which is already in progress. 
It's absolutely true. I yeah. tell you, I, I, you're looking at me like I don't, like you don't believe me, but it's true. Mm. What I could. Do you know how much the President of the United States of America makes every year? No, no, I don't. I just... Uh, he makes $200 million every minute. Really? It's true. Really? I used to know Eisenhower. Yeah. I used to know Jake... Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay oh, smooth. Yeah. I used to know Nixon and mm-hmm. uh, Carter, and they are all rich... It's just so rich now, it's you know, practically on the world. Yeah, really. And it's, uh, I have to... Uh, oh, it's no more. I think a bartender? Can I get... A, where the hell is the bartender? The service here is just awful. Where is the bartender? You're the bartender. Am I? Yes, yes you are. And every time somebody orders a drink, you mix it up in front of them and knock it back real quick. Oh, well, that explains things. I just thought people were being super generous. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah, I'll bet I do. That's right, drinks all around. Yep. Remember the good old days where substance abuse and alcohol addiction were considered endless fonts of hilarity? Where slurred speech, double vision, gin blossoms, and cirrhotic livers were considered fun? And where no one ever threw up on film or crashed their seatbeltless car and died? Well, those days are gone for good. And that's probably not a bad thing. I'm just saying. Hey, somebody buy the piano a drink. That's it, I'm calling you a cab. I'm not a cab, you smut bastard. Six nuns, on a mission from God, fresh from the halls of the convent of Our Lady Queen of Kicking Your Ass, they are Force of Habit. Sister Mary Catherine, Demolitions. Sister Carmela Mary, Hacker Extraordinaire. Sister Rosemary, Master of Disguise. Sister Consuela Maria Mary Partisha Maria, Ninja. Sister Latisha Mariqua, Heavy Weapons. And Sister Mary 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 Mary, she's the breeze. They're beautiful, they're bold, they're brainy, they're godly, and what chance do the bad guys have? None! That's Force of Habit, this fall on the Tech Diff Network. Yes, another joke about Catholicism. That's an oldie but a goodie on this program, isn't it? I tend to do a lot of jokes about Christianity and Catholicism. That's because I was raised Catholic. Here's a portion of the program where I get to get a little bit closer to you, the audience. Technical Difficulties proudly presents Too Close for Comfort, a segment where our host, Kyan Chris Conroy, reveals more information than you probably needed to know about him. Now, like I said, I was raised Catholic. Now, there's a lot of people out there who say that, you know, they have a big axe to grind with the Catholic Church for a variety of reasons. They're recovered Catholics or recovering Catholics or ex-Catholics or whatever whatever they want to call that. But before you go ahead and abandon Catholicism altogether, I just wanted to point out that there is a very distinct advantage that can serve you very well in this day and age. And that's the fact that it gives you a bit of a defense against other Christian denominations who feel it's their duty to proselytize to you and get them get you to convert to their uh, way of doing things. You know, like fundamentalist Christians or whoever who come up to you and say stuff like, you know, have you accepted Jesus as your personal savior or, you know, the whole kind of, you know, grace over works thing or do you think you're a good person here? Let me walk you through the Ten Commandments, you know, the whole cult of comfort kind of thing. Well, you know, the thing that's really great about being a Catholic, though, is that at that point you can just snap, you know, do that little Z snap if you want, put up the talking to it hand, you know, and just say, I'm sorry, I'm Catholic. And at that moment, bang, you can see it in their eyes. There's the blockage, the Pope shield just falls right in front of the big, funny, hap-shaped Pope shield. Just goes bang, zing, there it is, and there's the Pope shield. And they can't stop. They can't get through. They can't get through. No matter what you do, you're like, "Uh uh-uh, I'm Catholic, you know? It's great. It's like summoning the Power Rangers. They're the Papal Rangers, you know? They just, they land all around you like altar boy shaped or, you know, altar boy shaped robots with the Stations of the Cross on them. They form into a giant Virgin Mary with her beam rosary, and, you know, she shoots, you know, communion wafers, energy communion wafers out at them, and they they can't, they have no defense. They're destroyed and doomed, and, and they can't stop because they don't want to offend the Catholics and they don't, you know, like that. So, there. There you go. Just a thought before you give it up completely. I'm, I'm just saying is all. This has been Cayenne Chris Conroy's Too Close for Comfort. Um, hey, uh, Leonard? Leonard? Hmm? Leonard, we're, we're, we're done for the day, by the way. Oh, are we? Yeah, you can kick off for the night. I mean, uh, and by the way, thanks for all the keyboard support. Yeah, it was a lot of it for this episode. That uh, you did really well. Not a problem, Mero. Right, a referuki. What? I'm just trying out new catchphrases. That's all. I'm a little tired of saying hokey dokey all the time. But everybody loves it when you say hokey dokey all the time. Well, I know. I just don't want it to get stale. That's all. Oh, okay. I mean, I was gonna do a T-shirt and everything, but 
Yeah, whatever. If you can come up with a better one, that'll be fine. I mean, you know, good luck to you on that. Super. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna knock this off for the night if that's mm-hmm. all right with you. I'm that's a fire up the that, end bit. That's fine. Will we do another apostle hour soon? Oh, uh, yeah. Next week we'll have definitely oh. have a new apostle hour. You oh, can good. tell uh, Pastor Irwin about that. We're gonna be doing cop beat next week as well. Wonderful. Melman will yeah. be thrilled. He's been pretty depressed, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, he's always kind of like that, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna yeah. go for the uh, music now. Is that okay with you? Hockey dokey. <laughs> You see? I mean, it just, it, it just flows. It just flows. I know. There you have it. Whoops, where's that fade? Come on. Drop down. There. There you go. There you have it. Thank you so much for listening to Technical Difficulties. Like I said, I've been doing this for a year and a half now. Or approximately. It's uh, quite a long haul. This is the most creative I've ever really been. And I just, you know, it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying doing it. I'd like to thank everybody out there for giving me a listen. I, I know I do this every week. But I can't really emphasize that enough. You know, I I love doing this show, and I really hope I'm holding up to some kind of standard. And I can't tell whether or not I am. I think I'm doing a good job. Like, I mentioned a few weeks back that there were some people complaining that they thought the show had decreased in quality or that I was just knocking them out. And I never feel like I just knock them out, although I don't necessarily prepare as well as I do for one or the other. This was a show that I actually deliberately tried to improvise a lot, and I hope it it, uh, came out well. Um, but uh, yeah, please, if you want to tell me if I'm doing right or doing wrong by you all, uh, fe- feel free to drop a comment over at techdiff.com. I love getting comments. That was weird. Uh, recently, I'll, I'll, here, let me sidetrack just for a second. In recent weeks, I uh, have gotten comments almost immediately upon putting the show up on Fridays. And then, and then the last show got, was pretty scattershot on the comments. And people seem to like it. But it was just like, did I, did I? You know, for the first 24 hours, it didn't get any comments. And I was like, did I do something wrong? Oh, my God. They all hate me now. No one's listening. My, my wife, Susan, says basically that uh, it's probably because the heat wave had finally broken and people wanted to get the hell out of the house. So they weren't just sitting around their air conditioning, listening to my show or whatever it is they were doing. Uh, but she could have been right about that. But I'd like to know what you think. So please drop me a line. Tell me what I'm doing right or wrong over at techdiff.com. T-E-K-D-I-F-F dot com. Uh, you can leave a comment there for other people to uh, read and comment on. Uh, you can also uh, send me an email or a Gmail at techdiff, T-E-K-D-I-F-F at gmail.com. And... Um, what did I say about the first one? Techdiff.com is where you can leave the comments. Techdiff at gmail.com is where you can leave me Gmail. And you can also send some ideas in for me for the listener participation show, which will be on, actually, I got the dates wrong, but it's going to be on September 1st. That's the first Friday of September. It's not going to be the 25th because I'm going to be very busy that weekend with a barbecue. But uh, in any event, uh, for those of you out there who want to drop a line, as I said, techdiff.com or techdiff at gmail.com if you'd want to send me anything, any requests for uh, bumpers, or if you want to send me a promo that you'd like me to play, or anything like that. The uh, I got, did get some nice emails from people who actually picked up my show and joined up because they uh, heard it heard about it on Future Tense on NPR, which was very nice. If you didn't hear that uh, a few weeks ago... Um, or a week or two ago, uh, Future Tense played a segment about the Podcast Peer Awards, and they mentioned my show on it. And the Podcast Peer Awards have got me in the top slot for comedy, which is very, very, very cool. I think it's great. I, again, I have no idea if I'm going to win or not, and it would be nice. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. It's, voting's over on that, I guess. I, I don't I don't know. My God, I have no idea. Uh, please uh, check out uh, uh, Uncomfortable-Questions. Uh, that's a... Uh, that's my wife Susan's podcast, her interview podcast. I'm on several episodes of that, and it's always very interesting if you're interested in those big philosophical questions and like. And here's some podcasts I should be mentioning. Manly Geek at manlygeek.com. That the Manly Geek podcast is really good. Ashanti No Lemons podcast at ashantinolemon.com. Uh, over at uh, Rambling Retard Rampage at El Nacho. El Nacho's Rambling Retard Rampage. Uh, at uh, i got to set up links for these in my, on my show. But you should be doing that. Ed's Mixed Bag, uh, Chub Creek. These are all podcasts, and you know, i got to get off of my ass and do a proper web page with links. But um, And, of course, Strange Brain Radio and Andy Cast. You guys have all supported me all this time, so thanks a lot. And like that. Oh, and, and if you didn't hear Strange Brain Radio's latest, uh, he has a bit called uh, 
oh god, I can't remember the name of the sketch, but the latest Strange Bane Radio by Rusty Bender. I did um, I did some vocal work for it, and it's funny. Oh, and uh, please check out the Queen's English queens-english.com uh, for David Underwood's hilarious podcast. Very, very funny stuff. It's good things. You know, these, these, the R comedy, the kind of India, indie comedy that's going on here really needs to get more coverage and not just the morning zoo crap that's really being foisted off as podcasts these days. Or just the kind of Howard Stern clone type stuff where people just yammer. I'd like to see a little bit more prepared material. I'm not saying that's all it has to be. I'd just like to see more of it. Anyway... I've yammered on far too long. I've got to get off, get the hell off this and put the show up. So uh, thanks, and I will. you'll be hearing from me all next week, and I'll hope to be hearing from you via typing things like that during the week. By the way, one last request for anybody out there. If anybody out there needs voice acting work done or knows somebody who needs voice acting work, or if you're looking to audition voice actor people, please contact me. You can get my contact information over at CayenneChrisConroy.com. I'm looking for work. I really am. I'm, I'm really pushing the whole sort of voice actor thing into high gear, and I really want to get you know, a career off the ground here. And I've got some other, and I've got some writing projects I'm working on too that may translate into audio plays, and we'll see where, how that goes. But Right off the bat, I just would love to get some like real paying work. So if you know people who work in the commercial work in you know commercial industry or whatever, you know if they do uh, audio commercials or voiceover work or cartoon voices, any of you people out there in Hollywood, there must be a few of you out there listening out there who know somebody who knows somebody. Tell them there's a guy out there in Minneapolis who's looking for work as a voice actor, and you can refer them to my show and hear it. My proper demo will be up at CayenneChrisConroy.com where my voice acting information and, and some other information about me can be found. So uh, there, that was my plea for whatever. That was my desperate plea for attention and money. And speaking of money, if you're interested also, you can leave, you can go to techdiff at gmail.com or uh, Cayenne at, T- I'm sorry, techdiff at tcinternet.com Dot net or a kind of tcinternet.net you can also uh donate to our paypal my paypal thing if you feel like it wouldn't hurt okay i'm done bye thank you for listening to friday follies right here on the mutual audio network Please consider subscribing to other days of the Mutual Feeds, including Monday Matinee for classic, live, and theatrical audio plays. Tuesday Terrors for horror audio drama. Wednesday Wonders, our science fiction and fantasy magazine. Thursday Thrillers for action, adventure, mystery, and crime drama. Saturday Story Circle for kids and families alike. And Sunday Showcase, bringing you the very newest in audio releases for the week from our United Artists of Audio, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The Mutual Audio Drama Network, where we listen and imagine together.